Living in fear tonight, the heated battle over immigration continues in Baltimore County, with some families wondering what's next. WJZ is live in Towson, where dozens rallied against the controversial program. Rick? Well, Mary, some families are scared to go to work, even drop their kids off at school. And the county executive says if the president and governor won't step up, then he will. Their voices echoed through the streets of Towson. What do we want? Justice! As the heated debate over immigration policies we'll continues to make noise. We're hearing this across the country, right? Dozens rallied with CASA on Tuesday. This is some county council members pushed for a bill that calls for screening jail inmates for immigration violations. This is grandstanding at its worst. Something County Executive Kevin Kamenetz has been furious over. This is the time for leaders to stand up and be counted to oppose hatred and bigotry. For Ixa Nunez, the uncertainty is real. Do you guys live in fear every day? We basically do, yes. The 17-year-old often worries if her mother will even make it home from work. I don't want to be separated of my family. Like, I'm constantly worried about it. While Koss has gained a lot of support here in Towson, other top leaders in counties across the state haven't been on board. The screening program known as 287G is what both Hartford and Frederick County jails participate in. Those individuals, many being convicted violent criminals, are going to be released back into our streets. But Kevin, says as long as he's in charge, Baltimore County won't be implementing what he calls an American. And should it pass, be assured, I will veto it. <laughs> A public hearing was held on the bill this afternoon, and it could be voted on by next week. Mary. All right, Rick, thank you. The Trump administration has threatened to hold federal funding from so-called sanctuary cities.